I've, I've made one pass of studying the current, current standards as they stand. Um, transportation is ahead of uh, grid storage and uh, it's also ahead of telecom and UPS. So because of the need, the amount of standardization from uh, SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers, um, from uh, UL, mm -hmm. which is uh, Underwriter Laboratories, yes. that's um, driven by consumer mm -hmm. batteries. Um, they, are, they take leadership roles for grid storage and international mm -hmm. applications. We have the IEC and the ISO mm -hmm. organizations taking some lead. Yes. We also have UN 38.3, uh, which is a transportation standard. When you, when you transport batteries on, on an airplane, you have to know how to do that safely. So this uh, UN standard specifies how to evaluate batteries that they're safe for, for shipping. Um, grid storage uh, is a, a, a new window of opportunity for, for cell testing. Uh, so far, I've focused on other industries, but it looks like the, at the level of cell testing, mm -hmm. the data can be shared across many industries. Mm -hmm. So one way um, our, our energy storage industry can save uh, money is to benchmark cells together yes. by coming together and lowering the cost of testing.